Hey there guys, I am the Six Machine and welcome back, finally, to another Warhammer video. So lots happened while I was away, loads of new releases and news about 40k, Age of Sigma and even the Horus Heresy, but one of the things that was finally announced was of course, in line with their imminent Codex release, the contents of the Chaos Space Marines Combat Patrol. So let's take a look at that, what the contents are and what kind of saving you'll be making if you decide to pick it up. As usual, on the price front, this box will almost certainly come in at the new updated cost of £90, and for that you get a rather simple, if we're being honest, but solid, classic set of models to start or to expand your Chaos Force with. Leading the charge, we have a Dark Apostle, who is the Chaos Chaplain equivalent, who can chant Dark Litanies to help buff up and empower your forces, he comes in at £24 for him and his two awesome looking assistants, and I mean, he's not a terrible HQ, obviously all things are liable to change in the upcoming codex, but I do think that much like the Space Marines Chaplain at the moment, he will almost certainly still be worth considering to take in order to hand out some of those really useful buffs to your units in the new book. You also get a unit of 10 Chaos Space Marines, or Legionnaires as they're now called. These models are all relatively new, they came out in the 2019 Shadow Spear box, so they are pretty current and they are gorgeous, and I think if you have any older Chaos Space Marines from earlier editions, this may well be a good way to start to slowly phase out those older models if you want to of course, and bring in these newer, slightly more detailed, slightly better proportion models to your army instead. With their incoming bump to two wounds, as well as the great options available to them in terms of their weapons and their loadouts, they are a solid unit to have, and obviously they are a troops choice. In a way like Tactical Marines and Intercessors, you can never really have too many of these, so I do think that this is a good staple unit to have in the box. And then another good staple unit as well, is you get a unit of the Chaos Havocs. And these are the new models, they've got Toughness 5, and I believe they're going up to two wounds if they aren't already, I can't remember off the top of my head. But these guys are your Devastators, your Heavy Weapons Marines for your list, and so with them you get a selection of Missile Launchers, Heavy Bolters, Laz Cannons, and a Reaper Chain Cannon. And I mean, again, it is a solid, classic, if somewhat unexciting unit, so for new Chaos players, I do think it is a brilliant set of models to get. Even if you won't maybe use them every single game, they are a classic staple unit that you will want to have in your army so that you can bring them every now and then in your lists. So getting them in this combat patrol is really, really handy, I think. And then to round it all out, you get the classic evil Chaos Dreadnought, the Hellbrute. And again, this is just one of those kits where if you're a new player or if you are a player that's been playing Chaos for years, it's never a terrible thing to pick up. They're cool, they look awesome, they're fun to paint. Yeah, if you've been playing Chaos for 20 odd years, you may already have a few of them and some of the older metal Chaos Dreadnoughts, so you may not need another Hellboot, but it's one of those things that is always nice to have on your shelf and you can never really have too many of them, even if you aren't bringing them all in every single game. I do think that in general, because of what you get in this box, if you are a established Chaos player, you may think this is slightly superfluous and you don't really need any of it. You know, you've probably already got hundreds of Chaos Marines and Havocs and Dreadnoughts or whatever. So th there is definitely that aspect of, do you really need this box? But for a new player or someone who just wants to start a small Chaos Force, this set is a genuinely good one to get yourself sort of off the ground and get some solid troops and get some heavy support and get some boots on the ground to start your list with. In terms of the price, with the £24 for the Apostle, it's £36 for the Marines, £35 for the Havocs and £35 for the Hellbrute, so you are looking at around £130 from GW compared to the £90 price that this box will be, so you are going to be saving £40 or so, which essentially gets you the 10 Marines for free. And as always, like we've seen before, this does work out to be a roughly 30% saving. So as I said, it really is a decent, cheapish way to get your army off the ground and get you some admittedly basic, but very useful, very staple units to, to kind of build your army from. 
There's nothing in here that kind of jumps out as being something that established players are going to really, really want to get. So getting this box is going to be worth it just for that particular unit or model or vehicle, or whatever. But as I said, for new players that have nothing, this box is genuinely brilliant. And I could see getting not just one, but maybe two or even three as not being a terrible idea. The box comes to around 450 points currently with a smattering of weapon options. So if you get two of them and give some upgrades, as well as the probable price increases on things like the Legionnaires in the new book, this could very easily get you 750 to 1000 points just from these two boxes. And I mean, as I said, although there's nothing in there that's super exciting like a Heldrake or a Forge Fiend or a Mauler Fiend or anything, this is such a solid base point to start your army. You've got your troops, you've got your vehicles that can, you know, get into combat and hand out a big strong melee punch in the hell boots, and you've got some great heavy weapon support from the Havocs. So everything in this book is worth having. It's just a case of whether you've already got it. And I mean, the other bonus as well is that all of these models, apart from the hell brute, are really quite new and they look fantastic. So even if you just want to get this set to paint up a small chaos force, this is really not a bad one to go for because it will help you get used to the, the look and the feel of all the bling and the trim and just the aesthetic that the Chaos Forces have. So whether you are a new player, whether you just want to get it to paint it up and have it on your shelf, or if you are an established player but just want to get an extra squad of Marines or an extra Havoc squad or an extra Dreadnought, I do think that there is a case for anyone to pick this up. But certainly, as far as a new player goes, I could see two or maybe even three of these boxes being a worthwhile purchase. But what do you think of this box? Will you be grabbing one or two or three? And what would you have rather seen in it instead of something like the Hellbrute or the Havocs? Is there something else that you think they should have done instead to make it a bit more exciting for people to pick up? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me. But until next time, I'll catch you later, guys.